<laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and happy. <laughs> okay. I I feel pretty good. I, I feel pretty good. Yeah. They called at five o'clock. I was sleeping. My wife answered the phone and um, she was told it was an important call and she woke me up and uh, the gentleman told me that uh, I got the Nobel Prize in chemistry. You took the call. I did. I took the call at 5 a.m. and I asked them if they knew it was 5 a.m. in Chapel Hill and they said, well, it's a very important call from Stockholm and I said, Oh, and I handed him the phone. <laughs> so you knew exactly what it was? When they said Stockholm, I figured, yeah. <laughs> and in uh, second year of medical school, I took a biochemistry course, and I was fascinated by the topic and by what can be done by basic science. And at that point, uh, I had basically decided I was going to be a biochemist. So there was great excitement. In, in molecular biology and learning all this. I, I come from a small town in Turkey where uh, this was totally unknown to me and being exposed to that, uh, it was very exciting, yes. I have relatives in Syria and uh, it, uh, I, I find it very sad what's, what's happening in that part of the world and I, I believe that um, um, uh, a basic solution to this is through education and through basic science and, and uh, um, uh, emphasizing education rather than uh, things that divide people. I'm very honored to um, share it with my colleague uh, at Duke. Actually, oh, he may not know it for uh, the last 10 years, I've been nominating him for the Nobel Prize. It really shows what an immigrant can do if given uh, appropriate support and hard work. Um, and so I hope that that message comes through.